What's up guys, welcome back to AFTV Young Guns. Today we are previewing Arsenal vs Manchester United. As I said, it is we, me and Matt. Matt is actually going to help me out with a preview for once. It's been quite a while since we did one of these. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, for once it's not flopped it's on me. It's been a long time, man. But yeah, lads, before we get into this video, I want you to go down there, like the video if you enjoy, subscribe to my channel by 14. I'm on the road to 4,000 subscribers. Subscribe to Matty Boy, who's also on the road to, let's say, 100 subscribers, yeah? Should we say that? <laughs> Call it 50 first, mate. No, nah, no, nah, we got we got this right. Let's this, this is a big video. It's my night afternoon. A lot of people are gonna see this. So there'll be over a hundred people that definitely see this. So if a hundred of you go to this channel and subscribe to this channel, he'll hit hundred subscribers. Right, let's say for example a thousand people watch this video. If just ten percent of you go and subscribe, he's got I'll be over a hundred subs. Same with me, right? Just, so just hundred of you go feel to my free channel to as do well. It. But uh, enough plugging for now, let's just get straight into this. Right, Matt. Arsenal Man United. Hello. Back in the yep. FA Cup, it's the first FA Cup game at the Emirates for around a year now, isn't it? So, uh, I've actually it's never. Una, it's Unai Emery's first FA Cup game at the Emirates as well, so yeah, it's a massive game, Man United. It's, it's a, Man United. It's a, it's a it's a big fixture. It's Man United. That's the thing. It's not obviously we're gonna have them in the league in a, in a few weeks or so, but that's obviously different there. This is the FA Cup, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure Unai Emery will want to win a trophy in his first year. I know obviously the Europa League is probably the main target. But at the same time, mm. the FA Cup's always there to be won, I would say. Unless Man City is still in there, which case no one's going to win it with them. Um, but <laughs> it's Man United. And Man United, they've come to the Emirates in the past few years and they've been lucky. I would say it last year, they were so lucky last year. And I couldn't say it because if I say it, I'm probably I'm a hater. I'm a hater. But De Gea saved them so much. You were at the game last year, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's one of those games where I was like, the amount of times, because obviously I was watching at home, that I was like, Oh, it's a goal, and I'm celebrating. I'm like, oh no, it's not a goal, because De Gea saved it out of nowhere. It was De Gea, one of well, what was it? He matched the Premier League record nah, for broke, saves in a game. It broke the record. He already 13. broke it. It was something like that. It was something like 13 or 14 <sighs> saves, wasn't it, in the one Trust game? Me, and man, it was one of those. I mean, it was all the time. It was constantly. He was he was on a mad one that day, and he was oh. he was on his job then. Um, so obviously De Gea, um, I would imagine he's going to play tomorrow. Um, of course. But I'd imagine so. But obviously, it's, it's FA Cup. Um, I don't know if the I don't know if the lineups will be a little bit different. Supposed nah. to people oh. to uh, supposed to sorry, you know, Emery and Oli uh, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer's right. usual lineups. Will they be a bit different? Mm. When Oli Gunnar Solskjaer come and United, right? He must have thought himself top four is over with. Obviously now it's different, but back then he must have thought top four is top four is over with. Surely FA Cup is the target to win, right? And. I think De Gea is the goalkeeper who, for some reason, plays in every single game. He plays in the Carling Cup, he plays in or Carabao Cup, sorry, he plays in the FA Cup, plays in the Champions mm. League. Um, and their second goalkeeper is Lee Grant, so I doubt he's going to play him. Especially with De Gea in such form he is right now. And for them, this is a massive game because, let's be honest, right, if they don't finish top four now, it's not going to be a surprise because they were, what, 11 points off Arsenal back in December, right? So for them right now, it's main target also. Obviously, top four is a target now because they're there. But obviously, FA Cup, if they win the FA Cup, it's one of those where you're celebrating a trophy obviously last year they got to the final and lost to Chelsea so I think it's one of those where United are going to have to they're going to come out strong they're going to come out strong it's Arsenal right it's a chance to go come to the Emirates they've already beat Tottenham right at Wembley another game in North yeah. London do you know what I mean? they, and they, they played good that game as well they Their did they played stepped up well do you know what yeah they, they played well the, th the thing is though, obviously going into the game, just before you say what you're going to say, Go going into the game obviously on Friday night, there's seven games undefeated right now. Yeah. Yeah, okay. A lot of the games that they have played, um, they should be winning those games anyway, regardless of who's yeah, the manager. Sure. With their squad they've got, they should be winning yeah, those games. But obviously, the performance at... So I got Huddersfield. What's that? I got them here. They played Huddersfield, beat them. This is the last six games, by the mm. way. Huddersfield, Bournemouth, Newcastle, Reading, Tottenham and Brighton. Now, they played Cardiff in that as well. Yeah, obviously they? that was before, but this, this obviously just says the last six fixtures, right? And yeah, yeah. Looking and at obviously here, they beat Cardiff, so it's they seven. just about beat Car uh, Brighton. Tottenham was a good result for them. Reading was obviously an easy win in their championship side. Newcastle away, it's never easy, but it's one of those games where Newcastle is so bad right now. You just know. Uh, Bournemouth at home, it's out drafted you with the win. And Huddersfield at home is another game who Huddersfield is so dead right now. I think they're bottom of the league. So another game you expect them to win. Yeah. So if Jose and Mourinho had come into this game right, like, having won, uh, let's say, six out of his last seven and lost to Tottenham only, we would still be saying, oh, Mourinho in and Mourinho out. So I can't judge Solskjaer until he goes and plays two or three big games in a row. Or also, when his team loses, how does he bounce back? So yeah, exactly. It's one of those where I'm like, but, but, go on. But the thing, the thing is though, the thing is though, one point I will make right in terms of like for United is, 
yeah, okay, they should be winning these games. Like I said, under Mourinho, they might, they may, they may not have won them. Yeah. yeah. But the big difference is the way they're winning them. Oh, of course, the of course. style of football they're playing. Yeah, man. It's, it's a big, it's a big, big difference, and that you there is improvement, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, like you know, you've only got to look when they're at Cardiff, the football they were playing, mm. it was insane. Yeah. The the quick, the quick passing in and out of players, and that's gonna that's gonna be scary on mm. uh, Friday night because oh. obviously in terms of our lineup. In terms of our lineup, I'm not too sure what we're going to go right. with. Will Petr Cech get a game, uh, or is okay. Leno going to be in goal? I think it'll be Cech, right? I think it'll be Cech because I mm -hmm. think Emery Leno's a great keeper um, for Arsenal so far this season. But I think Cech will get this because this is last season in football. I think Emery will want to play him a lot more. Um, but um, yeah, I'd, I'd imagine he's going to be the FA Cup goalkeeper. Like to... It depends. It depends what way around he does it. Yeah, because yeah. obviously, when when Cech was playing in the Prem. And then we have the cup games, uh, like Europa League, obviously Leno will play. Yeah, yeah. So Check is game. it going to be now, obviously Leno's first team goalkeeper, is it now going to be that Czech's going to be the backup and obviously be a uh, Europa League goalkeeper mm -hmm. and FA Cup goalkeeper? The thing is, I just don't want to see another cup, uh, cup upset at the Emirates. I've, I saw us get knocked out to Tottenham in the Carabao Cup. I don't want to see us get knocked yeah. out to United. Right. The way but it's, a, it's a Friday night under the lights at the Emirates. The atmosphere is going to be electric without that. It's going to be it's going to be insane. It's Man United, man. So, it's Man United. It's, 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 it's a local team. Man United's a local team. Do you um, know what I mean? They're all in London, you know. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the fans won't have to travel too, too far to get to the Emirates, will they? But yeah. uh, the, one thing, the one thing that I'm quite worried about uh, for the weekend, well, Friday night, is I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like Anthony Martial is going to come to the Emirates and have a really good game. Oh, see, you see, I've, that's your player, right? So Martial's your player that you're thinking is going to come to Arsenal and rip us I, apart, right? Mate, I can, I can just see it in my head. Yeah, yeah. I can just see it in my head. Him celebrating in the corner. Mm, I could. I can just see him score. I can, I can see him scoring twice. Oh. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I can just see Martial scoring two times it's on so Friday night, regardless of the score. It's so different. A month ago, when we played United at Old Trafford, we were so confident. Chance to make a statement, the chance, chance to annihilate them. Yeah. Now they've won a seven out of the last seven. You're like, oh wow, okay, maybe let's just be a bit weary. I think the player for me that scares me the most, <coughs> pardon me, is Jesse Lingard. Pogba. No, Lingard. Pogba's great. Lingard. Lingard's the one for now, me. I think, Pogba, I think, right, has, got, Pogba's really stepped up. Yeah, yeah, Pogba has really stepped Pogba's up recently. Pogba's the one he can, change, he can change the game. He's their main player, right? But I'm looking at Lingard right yeah. now. And Lingard links that attack to defence, so midfield so like fantastically. The way he links up, the way he drops off deep, the dribbling off the ball, stuff like that. Um, my mate Jordan, you know Jordan, loves Lingard, right? And he's scoring his own goal. <laughs> he's got me. He's giving me nightmares before that um, one that obviously last year the Emirates, um, that Millie Rock. Mm. It's still fresh in the memory. Oh, don't, Do you know what don't. I mean? The, the, the thing fan. is, though, the, the one, the one thing, the one thing about that game, and I said it when I vlogged the game last year as well, and I said it to troops in a couple of United fans after the game it was with the goal when Lingard scored yeah and the thing that made that goal so good was the little bit of build-up play from Martial when the ball came in he literally flicked it yeah. if you remember with the outside of his foot right. and it just put it I think through mm. I want to say it was Mustafi or something it no, went no. just past Mustafi it was Koscielny it was Koscielny one of those because I remember last year right did, no, it mm. went through like they were stood like sort of like that, weren't they? Yeah. The ball went through both. Because Mustafi lost the and ball. It, it was the it was the little flick that just broke us apart, mm. and then Lingard just put it away. Yeah, yeah. So it's I I am worried oh. about them catching us on the counter. Obviously, where we play this pressing football, I'm worried we're gonna press and press and press, right, the issue and then they're just gonna like Pog was just gonna put yeah. a really soft ball over the top, mm. and then look at the players that could get onto the end of Rashford's it. Rashford's on fire right so, now. Do you know what I mean? And he's yes. one of those. I'm, I'm not. I'm. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. I can see Martial scoring twice. Mm. I don't know why, but I can just see it. Like it's one of those things. Right. I can just see it happening. I know it's, it's been those games this season, right? It's the Liverpool game. I thought Arsenal get battered. Obviously, we did get battered away from them, but at home, I thought we get battered as well. Um, Tottenham at home, I thought we get battered, and we won that game. Chelsea at home, I thought we, we get battered. We, we always no. We we always step up at home. Yeah. That's without doubt. Except for Tottenham. Honest, this year. If I, if I'm if I'm completely honest with you, I can see this game going to a replay. I can see it being too nah, soon. I don't want to see that, man. I want to just get. It. It's one of those, but I'm just like Arsenal. Right, we've played Chelsea and no disrespect to Chelsea United, right? But I'm looking at Chelsea's attack of Hazard and William and Pedro, right? I think that's better than United's attack. I think, I personally think, right, they're better players individually, but at the same time, United's attack, it links up much better. Nah. I think it has better combinations. Yes, United, yes, yes, the link up play that they all have is essentially a lot better, but their overall squad, their overall squad is better than Chelsea, in my opinion. Um, 
I don't know. I think like their whole the whole starting eleven that will play on Friday mm. night. Personally, I think that's a better team than Chelsea. And the, and the one thing that does make going back to why I think it's going to go to a replay yeah, mate. is you go to all the games against big teams that we've played. Obviously, Man City we lost. Mm -hmm. Like let's be real, it was Emery's first game against the current champions Zobies. on the opening day. Uh -huh. What we really expected. Exactly, mate. Um, at home, obviously, we've then played uh, Liverpool. It was a draw. Chelsea. Um, obviously it was 2-0, it Tottenham was 2-0 well. against Chelsea, Tottenham 4-2, but I just feel like a team like Man United, mm. I feel like that's a team we draw with, oh, I just no, feel no, like no. that's a team that we're gonna, that we draw 2-2 two, two against, Martial scoring 2, oh. Lacazette getting 1, and then I feel like a midfielder for us is gonna pop up, Niggas I don't right. know who though. I felt this nervous for like 3 games a season, I felt nervous like this for Tottenham at home in the league. I thought nervous like this for Liverpool at home in the league and also mm. for uh, Chelsea at home in the league, right? And they're all games that Arsenal should have won and two of them we have won, right? Um, so, I don't know, it's just scary because you look at United's attack, right? So if I compare Chelsea to, to Man United, right? We're not going to do this where Chelsea are going to dominate the ball and have more position than Arsenal like that they did the other day and Arsenal are going to press and win the ball back, right? And hit Chelsea on a counter attack. Mm. It's going to be the opposite way around. United are going to sit back deep. Uh, drop off deeper and Arsenal going to get the ball, pass around, a couple flicks here and there. Kalashnikov's going to bomb forwards, whoever plays right back's going to bomb forwards as well. And next thing you know, Arsenal now are there to, to be hit on the counter attack. And with Xhaka, who's not the fastest that, in midfield. That, that's the one thing I can see happening. Yeah, exactly. I can just see a Man United counter attack. Yeah, Look at it in 2014 15 season. Oh, no, remember no. the counter attack. I hate that remember one. the counter attack. That was so remember, easy. remember that counter attack. That was I was at the game so with Mizzy. Shout out, Mizzy. Like, well, that was games. Yeah. Rem oh. No, do you remember the counter attack? Di yeah. Maria and Rooney. Oh. Di Maria and Rooney, they were gone. Trust and me. And it's like, wow. And it just leads to a goal. Obviously, they've got good finishes in the squad. So I'm, I'm worried, obviously. I am worried. Um, I'm optimistic. But I personally, I can see it being 2 2. If Arsenal win this game right, I want to see one thing. Mr. DT runs on the pitch, invades, Millie rocks from the Man United fans, you know what I mean? Yeah? Because he's <laughs> been the one who's had the most from United fans. Every tweet I see of DT's tweet is always a United fan there with a Millie Rock. Always a United fan there. And to be fair, right, you man that are United fans that tweet out oh, the Millie Rocks and this and that, right? You lot, we came to your place and won the league, right? So you don't see us <laughs> coming out with the Premier League trophies at your place, don't we now? Right, so your Millie Rock is great, right? But we won the league at your place. Just remember that. Um, but Matt, we're rumbling on a bit too much. Let's go straight into the lineups for Arsenal. Interesting one. I think, as you said, I think Czech will start and goal. goal goalkeeper, Petr Czech. Uh, right back, Czech, right? Ainsley Maitland Niles. Yeah, yeah. Going back to Czech, right? Let's be honest, right? Leno's been good this season, especially with his feet. But when it comes to goalkeeping wise, I don't think Leno's been that much better than Czech. I think Czech was a better goalkeeper as in, when it comes to saves, nah, handling. But, nah, I. I now, look at it from the style of football we want to play, yeah, right? Of course, of course, we play, we play from the back. Czech is too slow at that. No, no, no. He's too that, slow in it, and it's re it's readable. When the two centre backs stand on the edge of the box and they drop off, and then the wing backs push forward, so we press. Uh -huh. Czech is literally just standing there, and like his whole body is moving as the ball goes. Yeah, you yeah. know, so it's almost like I don't know. Pet Pet Czech, he's I don't know. I I wouldn't feel comfortable with him. For example, look at his um, look, look how he should have done a little bit better with the goal that Son scored for the Spurs in the Carabao Cup. Oh yeah. Personally, yeah. I feel we should he should have done a little bit better with mm -hmm. that. But that was his first And game. of course the and of and of course the Deli Ali one as well. He can't really do much about it, but he got humiliated by Deli Ali. Let's be real, that ball that got chipped over him. Yeah. yeah okay. Part of the fault was under Kishelny. He was still coming back from his obviously Achilles injury, but mm. I don't know the thing. The thing with Czech, I feel. He his decision making has got a bit slower. Obviously, he's got that's older. understandable. He's got older. His he yeah, as he's got older, his whole, all his game is like two seconds behind. I feel now it's a few seconds delayed to what yeah, it used he, to be. He, um, and obviously, if say for example, if you've got let's say Lingard, Alexis, he's coming back to the Emirates for the first time. If he plays or not, who knows? You'll have Alexis, Lingard, and say Rashford coming at you. What's Czech gonna do? Say if the defend is say if they get past the defense and you're on a counter and say it's those three against two defenders. I mean, and then he's a clever guy. He's a clever. It's a three on three. He's a clever guy. He might start to negotiate his way out of the goal. Just like start talking to them, saying, "How are you doing, Alexis? You good?" You know what I mean? Um, but <laughs> it's one of those. Okay, but we'll go check and go for now. We're forgetting on that. Formation wise, yep. I fully feel and I want to say it again. We played the last game. I've been saying this since the start of the season. We need to play a diamond midfield, a four four one two one two. 
narrow midfield diamond, right? So right back, mm -hmm. uh, not Lichtsteiner. Please, not Lichtsteiner. The last person I want to see is Stefan Lichtsteiner against Anthony Martial. Nah, 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 nah. We're not having that. Don't even. Easy nah, better than us. Uh, I want them Jenkins. Em 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 Emery will give it to. Um Unai will give it to uh, Listen, um, mate, Ainsley Maitland-Niles. I can't lie, right? Jenkins is a bit tempting the right thing, The thing is, yeah, the thing is, yeah, just quickly, Ainsley Maitland-Niles steps up in big games. A little, little. He does, like. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, of course he does, right? But I, I, mean, think I mean, yeah, he scored a goal. We'll, yeah, yeah. we'll leave it that. He no, scored, he scored a goal at Anfield. Well, Maitland-Niles, he's such a good player. I think he sometimes overplays it on that side because he's such a good player. He wants to impress everyone. Yeah, he does. He does. But he now, does. Now the Bellerin's out for like God knows how long. Get all soon for Hector Bellerin. I think now he's well, gonna be six North. to nine mm. months, man. Ah, oh, it's a long one. But I think yeah, I think now that he's gonna be out for a long while. I think he knows now that Lichtenstein is not gonna be the first teamer, and now there's a chance for you to basically take a place. Um, and people say oh, he's, a, he's a midfielder by trade, but let's not forget. Uh, Liverpool's right back right now, Trent Alexander-Arnold, is a midfielder by trade. He was considered the next team in Gerrard, and only because of injuries they had on the right back side is why they played him there. So I'm not saying he's the next Trent Alexander-Arnold, but I'm just saying he's one of those players who he's fast. He, he's de he's definitely a good player. He's definitely a good oh, player, but I think it's it's sometimes, you know, it's all about decision making. Obviously, playing at the top level, you have to make decision de like quick decisions. And you have to make them fast, decisive yeah. decisions, and you have to make them, and you have to make them fast. Like I say, can't even speak English sometimes. Swear to God. Um, Harry Kane, mate. And the, and the thing with the thing with him, for example, when, <laughs> for example, you know when we played um, when we played Tottenham in the Carabao Cup, yeah, yeah, yeah. Son oh. was messing around with him I the whole game. So. I was sat actually for that game. I was sat in 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 the first half. In the first half, Son was beating him to everything, yeah, yeah, so. and his positioning his, his positioning was off. But then again, going forward. The nutmeg he pulled off, and I think it was Deli Ali. I think it was. Yeah, yeah. I think he put the ball through Deli Ali's legs. Like going forward at one point, he, mm. he obviously looks right, but sometimes yeah. his positioning when players are a bit quick, uh -huh. it's like you just need. It's like you need to flick a switch in him, and like he'll, you know, he's back on. He's back in form. So I agree. With you. Okay, like I think like like. Like I was talk like I was talking with Mo on um, when we played Chelsea Saturday. Like I said to Mo, um, you know, it's it's about consistency of Maitland Niles. You have to give him time. Yeah. Uh, you know, obviously to get consistent, adapt. and I'm sh I'm sure he'll I'm sure he will. Like I, like I said, everything around you changes. You have to adapt. Like he said, adapt, mate. Okay, look, I was right back. Made in house. Let's make it quicker, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, center back, Zakaria Skoshani for me. That's what I'm saying. Don't know about you. Yeah. Okay, Zakaria Skoshani. Um, left back, Seb Klashnak. I think he's just obviously better yeah, than Yeah, no right question now. about it. One of the most improved players under Unai Emery, uh -huh. without doubt. I think midfield diamond has to remain the same as he did against um, Chelsea. I think three players there: Terreira, Xhaka, and Gunduzi are good defensive players. They're good at defending, tapping the ball, winning receptions. Terreira won nine mm -hmm. receptions. I think Terreira, right? He's a great defensive midfielder, but I think he's like a, a Kante, right? Where he can play higher up the pitch, win that ball high up the pitch, and just keep the ball high up there, rather than have him have the yeah. last line of defence, which case, if he doesn't make the tackle, you know, it in. So I think I'm going to have Xhaka holding as the deep line one, like he played against um, Chelsea. Terreira in front of him would conduce mm -hmm. as well. Two players that can cover Xhaka with legs, with speed, uh, quick, quick in the tackle, and they're good on the ball as well. And then Cam. Uh, right, Aaron Ramsey's reports of him linking to Juventus move as in like a permanent now is getting bigger and bigger and growing and more reports. But I'd still play him over Mesut Ozil. I think he suits that system much more. And as we did against Jorginho, if we can stop that supply to Lingard on Pogba, so just track Pogba the whole game. Um, obviously, Jorginho is nowhere near the level Pogba. Pogba is much better. But if we can track Pogba throughout the game, just have someone on him just to keep him a bit thing and keep him also and also going forwards. Ramsey's fantastic and obviously Pogba's not the best disciplined player so maybe it's one of those but um, I think Ramsey has to start this game he was in good form against, against Chelsea um, I wouldn't be surprised if Mesut started obviously did you see that photo of Arsenal the Arsenal players with the um, well, they're paintballing and you got Mesut yeah, yeah they went paintballing Mesut's next where, where's my invite man Unai come on why does man do this to I, me I think I think to be honest don't don't read too much into that it's literally No no I'm not I'm just joking there. about I'm just joking about it. I'm not actually going oh my god Mesut Ozil was tight I was on a new contract now nah, I'm just saying it's just as a bit of banter but okay, we'll stop Ramsey, Ramsey at Cam do you agree with that? Yeah Okay cool Ramsey at Cam up front it's simple it's easy it's gonna have to be Alexander Lacazette Pierre Aubameyang game over right mm -hmm. they came on against United when Lacazette came on and they caused havoc Caused havoc, right? So it's simple. Lacazette bombing. They need to start together. I don't care if Lacazette goes off earlier than expected. They need to start together. 
Lacazette, Bamiang. Lacazette will score. Lacazette is a big game Lacazette player. I've said it for a long six, time man. now. I've said it for I've said it for a long time. He will score a goal. Him and Martial are gonna score. I I reckon honestly, like I say, I reckon two two, Arsenal two, United two, United. It will be Martial to score both. Mm -hmm. I feel, and then for us it will be Lacazette, <gasps> and then I feel like a midfielder is gonna score, like Ramsey or Ainsley Maitland-Niles might score from the mm -hmm. right back position. I I can see it being two two. Honestly, I can so see it going to replay. So that is your prediction. That, yeah? That's personally how I feel this like game two -two. could pan out. I think it's one of those games that Arsenal are either going to start off extremely fast, which I don't expect because we played against Chelsea, obviously it's a week ago, but still it's like that high intensity speed and shit like that. Um, so I'm thinking Arsenal mm. are going to come out here either out of the blocks like we did against Tottenham in, in the league and not in, uh, Chelsea in the league, just come up flying and then we'll batter United because they're let's not, let's not forget United's defence is still very bad. The hair might be in goal, but it's still very bad. Against Tottenham, right? If even one of those shots go in the corner, the hair, I don't care who you are in goal, you're not saving those. A lot of the shots, let's be honest, were straight at the hair. Great positioning, fair play, but a lot of them. But like, yeah, like like um, Ben Foster yeah, tweeted. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Right, everyone goes, oh, they're straight at him, they're straight at him. The quality that makes the hair as good as he is is yeah. knowing where to be. Of course. Being of ahead course. of the game, that's like being in the right position. Well, but yeah, but, man. But it's the, the defense. Abamyang has to. Abamyang has to be lethal if he wants to score. He's gonna have to be lethal to get past the hair. He's Lacazette, gonna have to. Oh. Lacazette, man. Lacazette. Lacazette's beaten him before. He's Lacazette's twice, beaten him before. Lacazette. She had twice. Debate, I mean, right. if, <laughs> when we signed Lacazette, it was Morata, Lukaku, and Lacazette. Oh, Morata's this. Lukaku's this. There's only one man standing, isn't it? Like a blood clot. Yeah, exactly. Right? But my prediction. L literally, yeah. Right, cool. My prediction, I'm going to end this off. My prediction is United won 7 out of 7. Arsenal had lots of games for Sam. Yes, beating Chelsea. It's at the Emirates, as Matt said, under the lights, which is never a good thing sometimes because Tottenham in the League Cup was under lights as well. But I think Arsenal need to win this game. Nah, but it's, it just it just feels like it's got that thing about it. Friday night, under yeah, the lights. It's one of those. FA Cup. Some weekend. BBC One, you know. FA Cup. Ah, uh, right. We're both at the game. Upper tier. Uh, looking forward to that. Um, yep. not, not quite actually, but yeah, lads, uh, my prediction is going to be Arsenal are going to sneak a win. Not sneak, I think we're going to win 3 1. I think Arsenal are going to score, score another, United are going to get one back, and then also going to end the game off in the like, later half. So I, I, can, I can see it going away like that, but then that, that's the way my heart sees it going, but my head. I can see it going to a replay. Oh. I can just see it being replayed on a Monday night mm -hmm. at Old Trafford. Right, right. I can, I can just see it happening. I don't know. It's, okay. It's just one of those things that could happen, but yeah, yeah. we'll see, man. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Games, right. we'll see tomorrow. So. Of course, tomorrow the game. Arsenal Man United. Obviously, glad that is the end of the video. Make sure to go down there and comment below your predictions for the game, your lineups you want to see, any thoughts, pretty much thoughts, and how much you hate Man United. Mark Goldbridge, you absolute. Before the game, I see what you're doing there at the Emirates. Don't do that again. But yeah, guys, my camera's about to switch off, um, so I'm gonna end it now. Like, subscribe, buzz in Matty. Our links in the description.